Hello there and welcome back to Feminine Archetypes. My name is Courtney Tiffany. I am the author of Feminine Archetypes. I'm a modern mystic and a priestess of the divine feminine. And I teach women how to connect with different parts of themselves as well as different aspects, faces, goddesses, and archetypes of the divine feminine. Um, today we're going to be exploring the archetype of the hearth keeper. Um, this is probably not one that you have heard before, um, but through the years of my studies of different goddesses and different archetypes, this one kind of kept popping up. So I'm super excited to be introducing this to you if you've never heard of it. Um, this is the first time. So we'll kind of be exploring that and um, the different goddesses that represent the hearth keeper and how we can tie it into our, our, our lives. Um, Back in <laughs> once upon a time, the hearth was the center of the home. It provided warmth. It was a place for people to come and gather to share stories and talk with one another and, um, you know, share information in the community. And it also was where all the meals were cooked. So it provided essentially very much this essence of life. It provided nourishment in every sense of the word. And um, there are a lot of goddesses that are actually the goddess of the hearth and home. Um, Vesta is the Roman goddess of hearth and home. Hestia is the Greek um, equivalent. And as well as Bridget, the Celtic goddess. She is um, a fire goddess and she's also keeper of the flame as well as Hesta and um, Hestia and Vesta. They're both, you'll see kind of along in their myths, they are, they are the keepers of the flame. Um, there's also a lot of sun or solar deities in Egyptian mythology, Asian mythology, um, that kind of represent the same thing. So when we talk about keeper of the eternal flame, what in the world is that? <laughs> we all have an inner fire within us. And I like to think that think of this as like our essence, our our divinity, right? The source of light. And we are all keepers of our own internal flame, right? Our very soul essence. And you hear the phrases a lot like what lights you up, right? What do you get excited about? What are you passionate about? And um, it resides in your solar plexus, also like um, associated with the color yellow. And being the hearth keeper is very much not only keeping our outside world, our home life in balance, but also our internal realities, right? Our own inner flame. So when I think of the hearth keeper, it is someone who nurtures that inner flame, who goes after her passions, who keeps that lit. Because oftentimes in our society, we want to kind of just dim our lights down, right? We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. We don't want to, um, you know, necessarily outshine others because, you know, they might take it the wrong way or we might be judged or there's there's a lot of things, right, for why we might not be shining as brightly as we're meant to, right? Why we, we keep that internal flame dim. And so the hearth keeper really allows us to step into that, to step into the flames, to step in and burn as bright as possible and to be seen and to radiate our own unique light. Um, a lot of the goddesses who are also keepers of the flame, again, are keepers of hearth and home. So I also view the hearth keeper as someone who kind of keeps the balance. She keeps order in her household, right? She is that source of inspiration. She is that source of light for her family members, for her friends. Um, because in order to take care of our, our ourselves, our light, right, to allow that to burn, allow that, allow ourselves to be seen, we have to um, take care of ourselves. And self-care is a lot of that, right? We have to take care of our physical bodies with the foods that we eat, the way we exercise, um, the way we move, right? And, and 
and to tend to that, not only like mentally, physically, but also spiritually. And the hearth keeper is really connected to that spiritual aspect, right? What is going to allow me um, to really burn true? And fire is this beautiful element that not only represents creation, um, but also destruction. It has this duality. And whenever there's something um, that kind of like triggers me or troubles me or I'm, I'm having a hard time releasing, I take it to that fire, right? Or any falsehoods, any lies, any like limiting beliefs, um, anything that's just kind of like plaguing you, you can take it to that inner flame, right? Your flame is a source of divinity. And I like to think of it like, okay, say you have, you know, something that's troubling you and you just can't let it go or you're holding a grudge, take it to the flame, take it to your inner fire, right? And, and allow that flame to just kind of burn through all of that and just purify your being, your spiritual being, right? Your soul self, whatever it is, right? You can even write it down on a piece of paper and throw it into the flames, have a little releasing ceremony, right? And actually work with the physical element of fire. Um, so the hearth keeper is all about fire, right? But she's also about creation, right? So we talked about kind of the destruction, releasing, letting go of, allowing it to cleanse us. Um, but go back to the hearth, right? When it was the center of the home where we cooked our meals, we were creating um, nutritious, delicious meals for our family. And again, it's taking care of that like external reality, our external, like our home, right? And providing, you know, comfort and whatever it is to those that we live with and the hearth keeper tends to that as well and she's creating delicious meals and she's creating a safe place for her children to grow up in she's creating um sacredness and rituals and things that are going to benefit her and her family members right um, creating routines and new habits that are going to serve everybody in her community. Um, so that's just a little introduction to the hearth keeper. And I hope that makes sense, right? Because there's kind of two parts. There's this external um, way of living like in the hearth keeper, embodying the hearth keeper, taking care of your, your home life, right? finding balance, make sure everyone's getting along, make sure everybody is taken care of and they're nurtured and cared for, right? And 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 so they are taking care of their inner flames, right? And they're able to burn brightly and shine and radiate, right? Because when we're, we're I hate the term high vibin, but like when we're in this higher frequency, this like more divine state of living, right? We, we're, we're doing things that are in more in alignment with our truth, more in alignment with that soul essence, that inner flame, right? And I love it as almost like a, a litmus test of sorts, like a, a way to see like, okay, is this something that's going to serve me, right? If you ever have any questions, any, like you come across an idea or concept and you're like, I just, I don't know if that's for me. Take it to your fire, take it to that inner flame, right? And it's either going to make it burn brighter, like an acceptance saying, yes, like this is for you, right? This is for me, right? Or it's going to disintegrate. <laughs> and it's either, you know, so it's again, that creation and destruction. Um, it's going to create bigger flames. It's going to light you up. Or it's just going to, your inner fire is going to destroy it and be like, no, I do not need this. This is not serving me. This is not for me. Um, I realize I'm kind of jumping all over the place here, but <laughs> I apologize. But that's the way that my mind works. So <laughs> welcome to my world. Um, if you are interested in learning more and you're seeking a community and wanting to dive into the Hearth Keeper, um, my Patreon is open. You can, um, by joining, you get access to 
all of the feminine archetypes, the 13 feminine archetypes that I um, uncover and kind of explore in my book, as well as activation. So it's actually taking you into the energy and allowing, like stepping into and embodying that. Because when we embody these archetypes that we've been talking about these last few days, it just sets, it, it allows you to connect with like this higher piece of self right? This divine part of you. And it, it allows you to step into the feminine mysteries. And you learn more about the face of the goddess, right? So whether it's Hestia or Brigid or um, I'm trying to think of the Egyptian goddess. I can't think of it right now. But <laughs> it, connecting with that piece of yourself, right? And really tending to those those inner flames of yours and really nurturing it and stoking it and allowing it to grow right and fully step into your power that's the hearth keeper right tending to that inner fire and allowing your brilliance to shine that's what she's about so um if you're interested you can head over there um thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video